Hi, I'm Julian Knowles and I'm going to be doing a lecture on microphones, what they are and also how we use them. But the first thing to really say about this is that microphones are our basic instrument for recording. In order for us to produce really good recordings, it starts with an understanding of microphones. And the only way you can really understand microphones is to understand what's going on inside a mic uh, and how each different type of microphone operates. Each microphone has a different characteristic. Uh, it has a different design in the way that it converts energy from acoustic energy into electrical energy. Uh, it also has a different kind of response to frequencies across the spectrum and so therefore it has a different coloration or a different color. It also has a different directional characteristic, so some microphones are more directional than others. And so you need to know about the behavior of microphones in order to be able to use them well and to get good results. So that's what this lecture is all about. And I hope to take you on a bit of a, a journey so that we can understand microphones better. So the first thing to maybe say is that, you know, a microphone, they come in different types, but in order for a microphone to work, they do need to be plugged into a microphone preamplifier. Now, a microphone preamplifier could be on a mixing desk, for example. So every mixing desk has a microphone preamplifier on it, or it has a number of them. That microphone preamplifier may be standalone in a rack unit, or it may be, as will probably be most typical for you people, built into an audio interface such as this. So this is a simple pre-sonus audio interface that's typical of the kind of audio interfaces that people will use in a home studio and it has on the front a microphone input and it also has a microphone gain control. So this audio interface has a microphone preamplifier built right into it and you'll find that there are lots of different kinds of audio interfaces. You know, here's another one here. This is by a manufacturer called Motu. Uh, this also has a couple of microphone inputs on it. It's got one on the front and it's got one on the rear so it can take two mic inputs. Uh, but likewise, this is just a simple audio interface that also includes a microphone preamplifier. So we have microphones connected to microphone preamplifiers and then they go to the analog to digital converters that are, if it's in a small interface, they are contained inside the audio interface itself. So there will be analog to digital converters and digital to analog converters which handle playback that are contained inside the audio interface itself. In a higher end studio or a scaled up studio, you find that the audio interfaces are standalone. They do not have microphone preamps built into them. And so you would be sending it first through a mixing desk with microphone preamps or a piece of rack equipment that is a dedicated microphone preamplifier. So that's the basic signal flow from a mic into your computer and your software through the audio interface. So microphones come in all shapes and sizes. So uh, this is a small diaphragm condenser microphone, even though it does have a kind of a pop filter on the end of it. It's, a, it's an AKG mic. Um, and then you can see here, this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, an Audio Technica 5040. You will have seen microphones in different shapes and sizes, and you'll know that things like large diaphragm condenser microphones are often used on vocals for example. So they all have different applications and uses. So as we'll see in this next sequence of videos, uh, which include videos from me, but also some third party videos that I've set up, we will first understand what microphones are and how they operate as transducers. So a transducer is simply a device. It's a generic term for a device that will convert energy from one form to another. And a microphone is a transducer because it converts energy from acoustic energy or sound waves in the air into electrical energy at the output. So it's doing that conversion and so therefore it is a transducer.
okay and then that electrical energy is then fed to an analog to digital converter converted into a digital representation and then recorded in our software so let's go through these videos we're going to look at the operation of microphones the different types both dynamic and condenser microphones and then we're also going to look at frequency response and also polar patterns or directional response of microphones. So I want everyone to get those key concepts, different microphone types, the polar response or the directional response of microphones and how they work and the terminology around those, and then also the frequency response of microphones and how the different frequency response of a microphone can affect its sound or its performance or ultimately what kind of sound source you might choose to use it on.